Anyway, let's be positive. He's in Twizel. It's stinking hot here in Wellington, the capital city. Matt, welcome back. Oh, thanks, Martin. It's stinking hot here in Twizel, the capital of the South Island. Mm. No, no, stinking hot. No, 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 no. And by the way, no, no, no. Uh, listen, the neither me or Graham are buying this. We're not buying this, mate. Okay, so start again. All right, you're just saying it's a little bit cold down there at the moment. Okay, and you're trying for summer. Go again. No, well, I'm in shorts and uh, scuffs. <laughs> yeah, with a nice thin, with a nice thin high cotton count T-shirt. It's absolutely scorching. The grass is turning brown in front of me. Okay, all right. It's beautiful down here. The uh, the capital of the South Island. The Don needed four runs to average 100 exactly. Right. He was out second ball in his final innings, bowled yeah. by Eric Hollis. Not one run, not four balls, <laughs> four runs. You're in making that it inning. up as you so go anyway, along, So anyway, just clearing mate. that up for you. Okay, you're making it up. 99.94 if it had one more swing of the bat. Do you know what my conspiracy theory on that was? He loved the game so much, he loved the imperfection of it, he didn't want a century as an average. Because no one's going to get close to 99 anyway, are they? Well, he wasn't known for being selfless, so I, I don't buy that at all. The other thing he was known for <laughs> no. is he never he hit one six in his life, didn't he? He said he, he, like that. he yeah. said you can't get out if it's on the ground. Matt, don't talk cricket to us, mate. We're talking T20 semi-finals. You're not even in the tournament. No, we're not even in the tournament, and I think that's probably for the betterment of T20 cricket. Nobody wanted to see Australia wrap up a T20 World Cup. And I think, no, look, let's just go with it. It's fine. There's too many other important things on the table over here, including the Women's World Cup. Yep. Right? That's the big thing. It is. And I must agree with the discussion you've had about it because I said a few weeks ago, let the tournament play out. Yep. Let's make a judgment <laughs> based on that. And actually, it's been interesting. And it all it needed to do was cover itself cover what happened, show us the highs and the lows, yep. and give us some of those real stories about the women, not scrunchies. And I, look, I am delighted they got up over the French, the Black Ferns, and what a wonderful thing for the World Cup here to have. You need the home team in the final, yeah, and just like in the Australian T20 series, it'll be a disaster if they're not there. No, no, it's no that's not a disaster, because no, nobody gives us stuff. No, that's that's a whole bloody point. Here, not. All right, so let's at least yeah, no, be positive no. about the Wallabies because I, as soon as I, as soon as I heard the uh, the sports news, Graham, that the Wallabies should have, I thought, full <laughs> stop. Now you can add any team, any test, any year at all. The Wallabies should have, right? Could have, would have, should have, would have, should have, right? Yeah. You lost, Matt. It's that simple, mate. Again. Yeah. No, I, and I don't disagree with you. We should have. You know what I did read yesterday, though? That that was possibly Australia's best performance of the year. What? Except it wasn't, because they lost. They lost. You know, I hate, he I hate hearing about how good you are when you're close enough, but not quite good enough to get closer. And we weren't. But we did play all right, and oh, it's not mate, demoralised. You played all right. You but played it's just Australian a sport, sport, mate. That. Stop. The whole thing about Australian sport is you hate everyone, you win, and then you tell them you hate them. Stop trying to be nice, mate. Well, when we lose, we're gracious. When we lose, we're gracious. Oh, the French absolutely. Hang on, your phone's going wild on us too, mate. Your phone's doing a T20 Australian World Cup and trying to ditch itself out of existence as well. So hold the line. Yeah, stay, stay steady oh, on right. that. Okay. All right. Listen, I've moved. All right. Well, unless he's moved, moved to the Chathams. Yeah, no, we can hear you now. Um, no, I've moved. Yeah, it should be fine now. <laughs> Matt, how do you... You know what it's like down here? I've said over the years... No, no I don't know what it's like down there because no one goes there, mate. It's the capital of the South Island. Sorry. Sorry, that's right. Now, hey. listen, I haven't heard the uh, from the Sports Freak for a while. I didn't realise the website was still on there. Yes, yeah, it is, And uh, I think over the years... I think over the years I may have been one of the names who copped the bagging on that Ooh, side, but I always enjoy it because go. open and honest conversation oh, is always go. the way to go. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. That's yeah. it, you see. And, yeah. you know, people people on the mainstream media can't do that, but, you know, us, us little battlers running a website, we can um, we can, we can can put some honest feedback out there. Now, hang on, so what was your what honest feedback about Matt? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> no, me either. <laughs> probably me either. It's just a little bit of taste in the back of my mind there from 10 years ago, yeah, probably, Mark. Well, well, I think you might be right, actually, Matt. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I think I might have written that no, article because well, I might right. have been no, better right. interested at the time. Listen, that, cock put on, from that, that Aussie cock on Radio Sport who's trying to sound like Devlin, I probably wrote an article like that, didn't I? Oh, you probably did. <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> Remembering you learnt your best uh, tactics from me anyway. But anyway...
No question. You, 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 you know, we shared, we shared the love, Martin. No, 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 no. Good conversation this afternoon. All right, now, Matt, how are you what feeling about the kangaroos? What else do you want to know about? No, no, he's got, no, he's he's got you. No, he's got you here, mate. Go. Matt, how are you feeling about the kangaroos? Oh, the kangaroos, I think, will win the Rugby League World Cup. I, think I don't you think there's too. an issue there at all. No, I think you do too, mate. Yeah, sadly, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. We win that one. I mean, that's the one I've always felt confident about. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had the Wallaroos or whatever we did in the Rimmins World Cup. They can't beat anyone. The cricketers have been up and down, and you beat us in the first game. We needed to walk away immediately. Mm-hmm. But we will not lose the Rugby League World Cup. And Costo, throwing out weeks ago that the <laughs> Island Nations would win. Mind you, Fiji had a bit of a crack at the uh, yes, they the did. Kiwis, yes, didn't yes, they? And that yes. was a uh, that was a bit of a turn up because they shouldn't have even been close. No, no. I okay, mean, no, we've stumbled and just stuttered throughout this tournament. I'm just getting a little bit sick of the oh cobwebs, rusty. Hey, we're in the semi. Well, it's been a month. <laughs> yeah, I mean they've been together for a month. It was almost remember the old Sean Johnson. You's got what you's wanted against Fiji 2017. Oh, it was yes. almost a repeat of that, wasn't it? <laughs> I was at that match. That's easily the worst sporting event I've been to. Yeah, it that, was terrible. That was at the Caketon. It was wet and it was cold and it was four two. And that four yeah. two mm, to Fiji. That's a that's a soccer score. Yeah, I know. Uh, two two penalties to one. No! Yeah. I didn't remember the score, it was, was it? It was just, it was dire. Yeah, oh, that is sick. The Kiwis couldn't hold a ball and Sean Johnson then blamed the media at the end of it. That <laughs> it was just it. extraordinary. Yeah, it was if you remember, actually, Matt, I mean, I go back to 1988 and that World Cup final at Eden Park where the, you know, Kevin Eder or the Beast was just, he just botched everything. He, he that got past him that day. Wally Lewis with the broken arm beat us and we were so inconsistent ever since. This is a tournament, though, poised, Matt, at the moment. However, do you get the feeling it's going to be old, firm England, Aussie in the final? It kind of just, it just feels like that. Well, it kind of feels like they deserve to be there, doesn't it? Yeah. But we will find out, Martin. Look, the Aussies will win it, so I don't suppose we need to talk too much about who they'll be facing. Yeah. Although, let's be fair, you know, there are these occasions where the Kiwis do beat the Aussies. They've done it a few times in memory. I'd be struggling to remember when it was, but I do know that it's happened. You know, they went into the tournament, they had a lot of new players, the Aussies, and it hasn't mattered. No. Has it? No. Have they picked the right team? Have they not picked the right team? No, 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 no. They were always probably going to be uh, quite clearly the strongest team because, well, let's the be best honest, they're drawing from the best pool. That's it. Aren't they? Yep. Uh, that's why Australia's in the T20 fight. Oh, oh, oh shit, that's, right. that's right. Okay, before we go, that's I want right. to talk some fireworks, mate. So I've been staying at Oriental Bay, and on Saturday night, the family pulls up three cars worth, right? And there was uh, kids, adults. Um, the kids were running around in those um, those flammable onesies that, you know, if you get hit by a firework, oh, they're yeah. going to go up like a firework. Anyway, oh, and they were awesome. bringing out... Dad was opening the back of the hatchback and just brought out hand cannons, and these things were going to... The only good thing about it at the end was... I mean, I was sitting there looking at it thinking, this must be at least a 1000 bucks worth of fireworks you're burning here, people, um, was that they tidied everything up, they picked everything up, they put it in the bins and they went away. But you must hate it down in your part of the world, mate, in Twizel, where it gets so goddamn dry. It's just a fire hazard waiting to happen, isn't it? <laughs> Martin, about five or six years ago, a friend of mine came down from Auckland, went over to the park across the road from my house with my wife and daughter in the middle of summer. This was for New Year's. They had some crackers left. I said, do not go out there and start lighting crackers. You'll end up with a fire. And they set the park on fire. Oh, geez, there mm-hmm. we, go. we hate fireworks down here. Yeah. It's tender dry. 90% of the ground coverage here mm. is 95% available to burn 100% of the year. Yeah. They should be banned down here, but we've got a big fireworks display on Friday. Hang on a second. So what was that suburb up the back of your place where all the rich homes just got all just absolutely and utterly castled? What, what, what was that one? No, oh, well, we had over the back there at the Ohau Village. That's it, yeah, Ohau Village, yeah, that's right. The yeah. most devastating wildfire New Zealand's ever seen. Cleared out half of the town up there. Millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars damage. 170 kilometre hour winds get up off the mountains. A little bit of a spark burns a village down. So You've got to be very, very careful about these things, Mark. We saw big fires in Christchurch. Yeah, and tomato, yeah, Pegasus Bay. And it could yeah, very yeah. well happen here. And you know what? People actually don't think about other people. No, they don't give I a stuff about other people. Too, I, mean, but I do too. But, I mean, you know, it, it, look, the pets get terrified. Yeah. yeah. You know, the fire service has to go out. We have to spend our money putting these things out. And in the end, like, the, the one in Christchurch was great. Oh, they were talking to a troubled youth after it. Yeah. Talking? Yeah. Talking? Yeah. A troubled youth. Talking? What about a getting a skyrocket and ramming it down his neck? 
Well, Pegasus Bay is 30 k's away from Christchurch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Pegasus Bay. No, we have the fire brigade with the uh, fire brigade appliances, as they call them, and they do the display down here. Okay. Which is the most sensible thing that you could possibly do. Restricted area. Mm-hmm. Firemen on call, yeah. and then they do. They go out there in their safety gear, and they light it up, and they do it for the community, and away we go. And I don't see why that couldn't be the future. We used to do it in New South Wales, where I grew up. The Apex Club would put it on at the showgrounds. They'd get ready for any trouble. They'd put on a display, and people would go home. You don't need to buy these things at the warehouse, mate, do you? Matt, I appreciate your time, mate. We'll be back in touch next Monday. Matt Gunn, that is courtesy of Resurrection Distillery. That's his Facebook. He makes his own spirits down there now, Gray. Nice. Resurrection Distillery. And you can jump Facebook, Resurrection, as in the Lord Jesus Christ, up into the sky next to the Holy Father and God, Graham. You've gone through the Catholicism like the rest of us have.